Holy shallots! We got rid of so much stuff this week. Stay tuned. So this week we tackled minimalism. Now, come back. <laughs> so, let's start by defining minimalism. Minimalism isn't just about getting rid of things. It's also about the things you keep. It's all about being mindful and aware of what is in your life so that you don't just end up with a lot of clutter or things that you don't use. We live in such a consumerist society. Everyone has the newest Apple iPhone. Everyone's got, you know, the latest gadget. And so being mindful of all the things that we actually have and we've accumulated over the years, are we still using them? Like, are they old? Are they still working? Taking that time to go through those things and realize I'm not using this anymore. This served no purpose in my life and then deciding what to do with those things, that's really what minimalism is all about. And so for me this week, I was able to get rid of a lot of things and then give it to people who I knew would actually appreciate it and use it. I sent bee pollen to my mom back home because she was sick and I knew she could use it. I uh, gave away all of Jasper's old shoes to a friend. That's where they went? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Seth really wanted them. Jasper's mom is always looking for Tupperware. So I went through all of our plastic Tupperware that we have just collecting dust, cleaned I'm, it up. I'm pretty sure we stole half of it from her. <laughs> and we gave it back because she could use it. It's a re-gift. <laughs> we had two, not one, but two trampolines on our porch. Why do we have so many trampolines? Don't don't ask questions. It's better yeah. not to know. No, we had we had three trampolines on our porch. We're only using one of them. So we got rid of two. Minimalism. Minimalism. <laughs> Minimalism at its finest. You have three trampolines. Guess what? You only need one trampoline. We only ever needed one trampoline. Okay, this is done. Done. So. so how to do minimalism. minimalism. Start we're getting small. better at this. <laughs> we are. No, we're not. <laughs> Start small. Uh, when you get into this idea, it can be really exciting. You want to throw everything out, uh, but take it slow. Think about the things you can get rid of. Um, Start actually. with one purse. Just go through those things and just you'll be amazed at how much you're able to get rid of. And then start mapping out maybe a room or a section of, the, of your apartment or house. Once you get that impetus going, it makes it so much easier. Start by getting rid of the things that are obvious. If you know you don't need it, get rid of it. Don't try and deal with the harder things. Don't start with your memorabilia and your keepsakes. Jump right to the clothes that you never wear. Jump to the things you actually just didn't realize was in your house and you're ready to get rid of it. If you have any doubt, don't get rid of that in your first wave. So the second thing we learned is that there are just so many things that you think you need and you can't live without, but you really don't need them at all. I reduced my wardrobe to seven t-shirts, uh, a week's worth of socks and underwear, and I basically rotate through about two or three pairs of pants. With the rest of my clothes, I kind of edged out of it slowly. I, at first, just put all of it in a suitcase in the closet and was like, that way if I need it, I can always come back to it. It took up a lot of room in the closet though. But a month later, I realized I didn't miss it or need it, so we donated all of it. Once you start getting into those objects that might have sentimental value, just take a picture of them before you get rid of them. You'll find that you can look back on those photos later and remember that thing and get just as much value out of it as actually keeping it. Because that t-shirt that's got a hole in it that you never wear with the weird yellow stain you're pretty sure isn't urine, you're not gonna wear that. And if you're way more creative than we are, you could maybe even like cut up fabric, stitch them into like the big, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like that big cloth. A that quilt? Like, that's it. You wanna make a quilt? Yes. You can make a quilt. Don't make a quilt out of your urine stained t-shirts. <laughs> and so finally, I think one of the biggest takeaways we learned is how great it feels to take your clothes or your objects that you're not using and then repurpose them, give them away, find a home where they're actually gonna be useful. So you can take minimalism beyond just your home and your environment around you and apply it to your digital life as well. This is what my phone looks like. That's right, no apps, no nothing. And 
why this is so valuable is it keeps me from just going to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter just out of habit to get a dopamine hit or to fill an empty moment. Instead, I use my phone much more intentionally and find myself only going to the apps I need to use for the given purpose. So there you have it. That's pretty much minimalism in a nutshell. You can really apply it to so many different aspects of your life, from going through a small section of your purse to part of your kitchen, to your whole closet, and even your iPhone. You can apply it in so many different ways. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you learned something and maybe you too can try minimalism. Another week. Another challenge. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Rock and roll. Halfway through February. We've got so many challenges under our belt. We have. Yeah. We're doing really well. But it's time to face the fates once more and hope that they're please kind. Please not the coffee one. Please, please, please challenge God. Please. Oh. oh. If that was the coffee one that fell out. Which one was it? What was it? Video games. Ooh, that would be prescient. I hope that's the one she draws. Please put that in the back of the deck. <laughs> it's somewhere okay, in there. How many times do we have to shuffle? Okay, okay, we're done. 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 Okay. Seventeen times. All right, oh, I'm just picking this one. Blow up. Okay, this one. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! No, I can't make this up. Stop! Stop what you're doing! Wow! What? What? Am I engaged to a magician? What the heck, Jasper? That is, I swear to God, this was not a trick. What? Okay. Well, looks like I'm playing video games all week. I'm the happiest man. <laughs> Thanks so much for, uh, for watching this video. And remember, if you liked what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll catch you on the next one.